Wednesday Water Signs. Hi, my name is Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your weekly elemental read. Yes, my big cat water elements, Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Let's get the energies. Oh, golly and gosh. Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. This is about you at being at breakthrough, about to move through a different way of thinking, being, or living. Mm -hmm. This is about you tapping into your passion, drive, and determination, and moving forward. This is a road for one. Some of you may be breaking out of a situation, a way of thinking, a relationship, a job, but realizing your future lies ahead. Mm -hmm. Ace of the deck, we've got Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. Some of you are using your psychic abilities, your gifts, in order to bring this new beginning through. Mm -hmm. This also reminds me of the High Priestess. This is about you having gone within, doing a lot of shadow work. Good golly gosh, what have you been up to? If it's only been seven days, I've been away. Mm -hmm. Having an inner knowing, balancing out feminine energies. In some cases, a lot of secrets have been revealed. Higher knowledge, tapping into the occult. What is the challenges for the water signs for the next seven days? And look again, we see the High Priestess. You definitely need to see this one. Mm -hmm. You have the High Priestess, water, as well as moon energy. We also have um, the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius and and um, um, Mercury energy, as well as the Strength, Leo energy, two major arcana. Oh, golly gosh, your steps are being divinely guided. This is about you tapping into your spiritual strength in order to move forward. This is quick moving. Divinely sending you whatever you've got going on this week. You are being intuitively guided and you must act on it immediately. This also speaks about messages coming in for you. Could be um, texts, emails, snail mail, whatever. It's moving forward, Scotty. Mm-hmm. The Leo NG also speaks about what an inner knowing of a lasting relationship that's coming towards you because the ones could also represent Cupid's arrows. Yes, baby. This is also you being intuitively guided to a true friend. Not a friend of me, not an edge grabber, but a true friend. Mm -hmm. This also means, speaks about some of you Water signs moving swiftly towards fame and fortune using your psychic abilities. Yes, baby. Let's clarify these peccadillos. Because this was in the challenges. What is the challenge of this Bontifus? Right, plethora. Right of evidence. Bontiful. What's the challenge? Right. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant and devilish energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to, um, how can I put it? Somebody. Somebody's trying to use negative energy and spell work to block your blessings. Yes, they are the Skullduggerous. Mm -hmm. This person is coming to you like a lamb, but look, can't you see them holding onto the stake? The um, Hierophant is Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. This person has a sex addiction, their molestation, they could have molested you or have been molested in their past. This person you was either codependent on, they were codependent on you. They have a lot of addictions. They would love to come through to you. Okay, this past person wants to come back, but this person hasn't changed one fig. Mm -hmm. This person is coming in as a mass marauder. Good golly gosh, we've got no time for that. She's naive. What's this on my hand? Nearly tore off my skin to get it off. I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. Mass marauder trying to come back through, right? To iron out your edges, right? I need another clarification on this. She's naive. You know this person is coming because they know that you are the strongest you've ever been. You know they're... Look at that shit! Listen, they're going to try and sweep you off your flip-flop. Are you up for it? Right? They want to come in with the apology of a page. Right? But spirit... Spirit is blocking them. Right? 
because they're coming in with attachments, negative energies. Mm -hmm. This should be in a beware section, not challenges. Beware, right, of people coming through with a full tongue. You may have as much as two progeny involved in this situation that you're going to have to use moderation with, right? Listen, don't give these progenies everything. They've got to earn. Earn. Yeah. Shouldn't always hand things to them because you are going to create a monster for you, right? Which is going to challenge everything. This is also somebody's upset that you're going into higher education or being established going into an organization or building up your own organization could be with your spiritual practice right they'd love to come through and offer you a cup as a page as i said but spirit is blocking them sagittarius energy right because they definitely have unclean attachments on them yeah and can you see that fire it looks like the chin scratchy show to me uh -uh. listen if that don't make you lock your seat of emperors and empresses and isolate yourself. I don't know what will. Mm -hmm. What's in the blessings for the water signs? Mm -hmm. Page of Cups. Is um, earth and water energy. Either you was abused in your childhood or you were abusing children. Water signs. Whoever was abused, this person is extremely vindictive at this moment in time. And they are full of what? That unrequited love, good golly and gosh, mm -hmm. full on disappointment, right, in a separation. You may also get news of the fact, which you already knew secretly from within, that this person had homosexual tendencies. You're going to be hearing that somebody's about to be outed in the worst way, right, by a common gossip who has no right to be speaking on anybody else's she's naive, right, What's in your blessings? We've got the King of Swords. This is about you being emotionally contained and gathering evidence and acting on said evidence swiftly. Mm -hmm. The King of Swords is um, air and fire energy. Mm -hmm. This is about you taking authority in your life, being what? Rational, right? With the truth. Right, looking at things from a more mature perspective. This also speaks about a mature person coming around you, coming in with some communication, because I told you, you have communication coming in. Mm -hmm. This person is established, emotionally cold. Why am I shuffling this deck? It's like we need to get an intel from this. That's why it appeared in my hand. Yes, baby. This is about you healing and isolating yourself from that said situation. A situation in the past where you was mentally, mentally hurt. Somebody, you're also going to be discovering that somebody has mental issues that they need to be isolated, put away for, right? Because they're not getting on top of it. This person is not taking no medication, right? Only the crazy don't believe they're crazy. Mm -hmm. Full on, mate. Full on. Right? How is this a blessing to isolate yourself from that situation? Libra energy. It is not your battle. Nope. It sure as she's naive. Listen. Pack light, says Erica Badu. Right? Take a risk and step away from that situation. It's not for you. Right? You are moving towards new opportunities. Mm hmm. The fool is represented by air and Uranus energy. This is also you knowing that you need to move away from addictive situation, right? Because they will definitely block your blessings. You see the devil behind the hierophant, right? That's Judas in a Peter suit. Don't be fooled, Scotty, right? Continue to pack light and move away. Step out in faith. Mm -hmm. There's new opportunities coming towards you, ones that will bring pleasure and adventure. This also speaks about you traveling. Gosh, so many cards. Don't go back to that situation. That person is stagnant and stuck and still doing the same shiz naive they always was doing, right? They'd love to sneak back into your shit, but you've what? You've closed the chapter. Some of you have finished writing a book. Writing some kind of book, instructions. Mm -hmm. And somebody's looking at the blessings that you're about, you are walking towards, and it's causing a volcano in their life. This cheating Chicharo would love to come and sneak back in on your blessings, right? Yes, baby, block them. Whatever you block them on, keep on blocking them. We've seen two sevens here, and when seven show up, that spirit is here to tell you, 
right? If you're not listening to me, pay attention to your intuition. You're in a good position. Stand your ground, squat it, right? Yes, you do have on two different shoes. So what? Start a new fashion trend. Mm -hmm. You block them out, right? Intuitively block them out. And you need to keep that blockation in place. You are able to what? Juggle the right way. Using your intuition, flying high above drama. Being able to prioritize your life, right? Continue to block that she's naive. It's bad juju. Don't allow it back in. Right, this person is watching you. Sputnik, I say, he'll be investigations. Mm -hmm. All right, look, I told you your spiritual team is showing up and showing out for you, water signs. This is a mission impossible. Use that energy to move forward. Yes, it's been rough. Mm -hmm. This is about you separating yourself from a situation that no longer serves you. Realize you was really dealing with either an incubi or a succubi right that was blocking all of your good ideas and your blessings right mm -hmm. could be as much as blocking you from your progeny two progeny are involved in this situation right where there was a marriage mm -hmm. good golly gosh let's get some fps on this i'm i'm my arms and my hands are all a flutter right water signs big cats it's your time for good dharma mm -hmm. This past energy that you have to move away from it could be a marriage or a long-term situation, right? You was vulnerable when you went there. And they used you for your money and whatever you brought to the table. And they had many secrets that was full of bull swanky and subterfuge, right? They blocked your blessings on every level. You need to move away from that shit. What about this cheating Chitara with the mental issues? Right? Wanting to block your blessings. Wanting you to stay in a situation while all hell is breaking loose. The chapter that you closed. Right? They was never really that into you. It's what you brought to the table. And what they wanted for you, they now have it, water science. It's back on them. Return to sender. Right? You avoided. You dodged a bullet. This person has the gift that keeps on giving. And if they have a mental illness, it is untended. Right? Brock pocket as much. Continue to avoid that situation in order to lean into your blessing, right? Unblindfold yourself. Mm -hmm. Final message for my water signs. Okay. This is about you getting yourself tightly wrapped, not having bats in your belfry. King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Fire and water energy. This is about um, an intellectual message coming through for you. A loving message of protection. This is also talking about jealousy. Mm -hmm. You are trying to be loving to your progeny, but you was blocked by the person that you was actually in a situation with. Going Again, going back to this deck. Yes, be a bit. It was judgment. Seems like you was in a karmic cycle. Right? And this person wants to stay in your she's naive by any means necessary. Good golly and gosh. Water signs. Right? Look what's left from the last reading. Wisdom and clarity. That was left there for a reason. Everything's a sign. Right? This, this, uh, rock pocketers, buddy. Have you got a dime? You was dealing with a prackle or prackalisha who definitely blocked your blessings. It's about moving away from that situation. They're going through judgment. Scott it. Right? You was mentally trapped. Somebody's feeling extremely, a lot of guilt and shame. Could be you or someone else from a situation. Right? That brought no true shame. Shame, yeah, it brought shame, right? And no change. Blocked your blessings, right? And your foundation. Mm -hmm. This is deep dealing, right? Somebody was deep dealing to get into your situation for mutual benefit. But they were lied and untrue from the outset. Zemblanity, I say. Mm -mm. You're best off out of it, right? Guarding your coin. Nothing wrong with being an orphan and the bag. Mm -hmm. Leave whomsoever you left out in the cold, leave them there, water signs. You need to get gone. You are at the gates of triumph. And this looks like a single path. Mm -hmm. Some of you will be entering the DNS. Some of you are, what, about to exit the DNS with a new you, a new bionic you. On that note, I dropped you Mike. Toddle with me over to the Teesprings, where I have a plethora of paraphernalia that will surely titillate your fancy. 
or take the hop, skip, and jump with me over to the Patreon, where you will have access to all the extended reads. Forgot to put an FP on this final advice. Right? That was definitely a niche that was killing your vibe. Spread your wings, right? Divine is putting that spotlight on you and giving you spiritual guidance. And this also speaks about legal matters, bringing in the coins. Yes, baby. In your favor, merch. Mm -hmm. Or become a member of this channel where the members get the chance to choose the direction of a read on a Thursday. Why? It's Jupiter Thursday for truth, expansion, and the Phoenician way. Yeah. Or if you require a personal read from me, mm -hmm. please email me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And as I always say, don't get smoked. Don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste.